what is going on guys welcome back to another one of these financial takeover series and it's gonna be a series now every two to three weeks on Fridays obviously the first one was bar so I posted like on a Monday and then the PSG one I put on Friday and then this one was also posted on Friday two weeks after the PSG so about two to three weeks for every single one and now as you know as I just said we've already done Barcelona and PSG for these financial takeovers and you know the gist of it today we are going to be doing Juventus another one team that we can try to make dominant and they are in a different league so Barcelona we already did La Liga uh, PSG then means we did Ligue 1. I could do Serie A, Bundesliga, Premier League, and other leagues. Premier League I wanted to hold off on mainly because I'm still doing a career with United, but we'll get there eventually. So I was between probably Juventus and Dortmund for this episode, and we're going to do Juventus for this one. And you know how it works. Let's flash those rules on the screen. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I've been doing seven minute timers. I did seven and a half to start with, then to seven minutes, and now we're going to be doing six and a half minutes for the timer to sign players. Obviously, we're going to give ourselves $500 million on top of the transfer budget already to try to sign players and make them insane. Yeah, hopefully we can do it here. I mean, with Barcelona, it didn't go too great. We won... We didn't even win the Copa del Rey. We won the other Spanish Cup, the Super Cup, which is not as important. Everything else was lost. I think we lost in the final, actually, of the UCL. For PSG, we won Ligue 1, and we ended up winning the competition at the beginning of the year. But we actually, surprisingly, you could say, surprisingly, lost the main French Cup. And we did not win the Champions League, because I think we lost to Bayern, yes, Bayern, which is a rematch of last year in the UCL final. For this one with Juventus, though, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I mean, just like PSG, they're probably the favorite um, in their league and probably overall to, you know, win every competition in Italy. Not expected to probably win every single one, but most of them. Obviously, I call Piet Monte Calcio here, but the Champions League is really what we're going for. We have not got in the Champions League yet. We have not won that trophy with any of the teams. Now mind you, it's 500 million, which is a lot, but in this career mode, 500 million really only gets you three top quality players, and I mean it. I really mean it. Like, I remember the Barcelona one, like De Bruyne himself was like 200 million, Trent Alexander-Arnold was like 200 million. It's pretty insane for some of these crazy players, but either way, it's the Juventus take over let's get into this big one even though they're called Juventus or Piemonte Calcio in the game I'm gonna call them Juventus not looking at their team they're running with this formation I don't know if I should change it or not because I don't really like this formation at all so I I'll change it here to a 4 narrow um and what I will do here is Quadrado can stay at right back which is nice and Sandro here can come in and then I got Chesney and then we got Rabio, Arthur, and then we got, let's see, Dybala, I like that. Ramsey and Kolzeski, uh, I mean, it could be better. Okay, look, see, they, they don't even have the lineups right. Like, Delit could probably come for Benussi, uh, mainly because Delit is um, younger, so that's nice. Sorry if I mispronounced these names. I swear, these are the hardest names by far. Um, and then looking at the bench and things like that, it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to take off Chiesa and put Bernadeschi and Kadera can come on for Benton Kerr. Besides, this is a team we're working with and looking at it, you know, obviously it's only one year. So like, you know, people dropping like, you know, Ronaldo Cellini will probably be dropped by a lot this year, especially them and even Buffon. Um, but like, you know, players like that, Dilit will grow, Arthur will grow, obviously, but they're not going to grow like a crazy amount because it's just one season. Quadrado will also grow. So what I'm thinking is... You know, we already are good at striker. We don't need, like, you know, another striker to pair with Ronaldo. What I could really do here, actually, is what I'll do is I'll put Ramsey on the right, Ronaldo left side, and Murata up top. Ramsey on the right will not stay because, looking at this team, this is what I see. Yes, it's a narrow formation, but I can always change that. Um, I can go right here and go to the 4-2-3-1 wide, and everything stays the same. Now, what I'm really looking at this team is, right, you're looking at the goalkeeper, and it's good. It's already an 87. I don't think we need to waste over, like, 
a fourth of our money just on another goalkeeper. Yes, there's better ones, but is it really worth it, though? We have a top-quality left back, so there's no reason to change that there. Two center backs, amazing. Cellini's amazing. Uh, Dile will definitely grow to probably at least 87, um, 88, 89, unless he gets hurt. Quadrado, though, is a pretty good right back to keep. That's not the most important position. Midfield can definitely be better here. Rabiot and Arter aren't the greatest. Maybe get, you know, someone else in there. Right side, I mean... Uh, that's that's gonna have to change that will have to change because we don't really got anybody here I mean when you really put like people in their right positions you got Danilo there and there and that cam is good Striker could probably be better and left wing here So I'm thinking what to do here is probably get some sort of CDM here um, maybe Casemiro, not like a De Bruyne, because that's a cam, right? I mean, like a CDM, like Casemiro or something here. And maybe get another right back or right wing. Maybe like a Messi, pair Ronaldo and Messi. Hey, uh, that's been a rumor. Maybe get like something like that and something in the midfield. And then maybe up top a striker. Now, let's get out of this, because you know how it works. Originally... It was a seven and a half minute timer. It was too easy. So I changed it to seven minutes. And that was still too easy in the PSG takeover. So we're going to go do six and a half minutes. I'm going to keep lowering the time by 30 seconds every episode until I feel like I am super, super, super pressured. Either way, we're not going to have anybody on the short list um, for the transfer hub because that's not what we do. And the timer will start in three, two, one, go. Okay, so the first thing is I think I know what to do. We gotta get some sort of CDM. Casemiro's perfect. There's not really anybody else higher rated than him in that midfield this year. So we're gonna Casemiro. He should not drop too much. We're going to shortlist him, and boom, he should be coming. And he's not, like, super, super expensive compared to other players. Now, right side, you guessed it, Messi. Pairing up Ronaldo and Messi. Now, you know what? What I'm thinking here is, could we put Ronaldo at striker, and then... Could we take Neymar and put him on the left? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go Neymar here, right? Play him, Ronaldo, and Messi. That would be insane. Absolutely insane. So I got these three players here, and honestly, I think it's good enough. What's our transfer? Um, for some reason, I feel like I didn't even uh, change our amount of money that we start with. But, okay, 616. Okay, that should be enough to pull in these three players um i think actually might that's all it could be um looking at these players we'll see we'll see what happens either way we're gonna obviously delegate to buy them and boom casemiro and messi boom and neymar boom obviously there's no such thing as rivals um clubs you know things like that i think i actually put it on um loose negotiations obviously some of these things are probably not realistic at all but that's the whole point of it no realism needed no nothing doesn't have to be like oh these players were you know linked to juventus at some point we have to sign them no it's just get the team good but i think really the attack is going to be huge though we've had really not that great with attack and the, i remember like barcelona won the attack wasn't too great at all. I remember Lewandowski got hurt early. Either way, we get some things about Messi, and that's all we get. Okay, well, um, Messi looks like should be coming in with this contract. Everyone else is still going on here, so they should be coming in the next day or two. So I'll just go to the ninth. Uh, I don't want to go too far ahead because then it's like, oh, you waited too long. And I don't want to do that. Neymar, Ronaldo, and Messi, though, would be an excellent three, front three. That would be insane. I was thinking I can maybe get a striker, but I think Ronaldo might be better at there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So Messi's accepted, but we're still on going with Neymar and Casemiro. Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, we do have Messi in, which is an excellent news. We're going to go three more days here and see what happens. I'm a bit surprised they haven't accepted. Um, in the office, we have four more things. We get some things about Neymar. Okay, so we have Neymar has accepted, which is nice. And we're going to delegate there, and we are good going with Neymar. Still has to wait on Casemiro, which is a bit interesting. Looking at the time, we're about three minutes and 40 seconds left. So we're approaching halfway, because halfway is what? six minutes and 30 seconds three minutes and 15 so we're getting closer to halfway i'm gonna go a few more days here obviously i'm not gonna cut any of this out because then it might look like i am cheating and i do not want to do that plus if i do cut this out i swear the video would be actually so short either way we have something about neymar and we get it but we don't get casemiro 
they reject our offer for Casemiro. Maybe that's why it took so long. So how much we got? We got 247. That's plenty. So we got three minutes to get someone else at CDM. Who am I thinking of here? I might be missing the best, but as far as I can think of, and Golo Conte would be the best option here. Busquets is pretty high rated, but he's going to fall down a bit. And Golo Conte is at 29 years old, and he's really not valued that much. So you know what? If we can get Conte here, and I'm thinking if we can improve our right... No, you know what? Hmm, what am I thinking? Gotta go quick here. I have to think. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is where I'm time pressured. Okay, so this is the thing. I don't think N'Golo Conte is going to cost all our money. Like, that's the thing. I don't think he's going to cost all of our money at all. So, I feel like we could get another player in here. I really think we could get um, another player in here. Don't know who, though. Because it said 88 million is the expected for him. So, that means if we get that plus the contract, we're going to have over hundreds million easily. Um, we're going to the office here. Our manager rating's going up. And we get so we have two minutes to go. We're gonna accept this. We're gonna delegate the wage. So as long as we can get the wage in here, we should have at least 90 seconds to maybe get someone else after um, Conte. And this is probably like where it's gonna happen. Probably I'm gonna start panicking and I won't know what to do. I don't feel like this is enough time. I'm gonna go um, one more day here. I feel like we just need that extra day to make sure. You know, I'm going another day. Why do I keep going extra days? Do not ask me. I just feel like Conte won't accept. One of the just declines it because I took too long. I doubt it. And Conte has accepted. So we now got three players in here. And looking at the team, we got a minute 29. What do we improve? We have our front three. We have our midfield. Do we go right back? We have Quadrado, though. But, I mean, what do we got? What do we got here? We got 102 million. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? Maybe we go for someone else in that midfield, but I don't know who to go for. I wonder if... I wonder if... Okay, we only have like a minute to go. This is not good. We only have like a minute to go. See, the thing is I can't go for something like super, super great. And I don't want... I wonder if Pogba is less than 100 mil in this game. Is he less than 100 mil? He is. Ooh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. I do not know if we're going to have enough money... To pull in both of these. There's no way we can get Casemiro. We're going to delegate to buy here. And honestly, I do not know what to do here. We're going to go down. Oh, shoot. I'm taking way too long. I'm taking way too long. Oh, gosh. We're not going to get Pogba in, are we? Oh, no. I'm taking way too long. If I just didn't take this. See? Okay, I think 6 minutes and 30 seconds is good because now I'm actually getting time pressure on me. We're not going to be able to get him in, are we? Oh my gosh, we only have 18, 17, 16, 15 seconds to go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If we can get a contract in, I say it's good. I say it's good. If we can get the contract in, it's good. We have seven seconds to go. We've accepted. We have delegated. That counts. I think we've got him in. Have we not got him in? The timer is about to be up. And the timer is officially up now. Are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, the timer was up like 15 seconds ago, as you would see. So we didn't get Pogba in? I guess we did not get Pogba in, which would have been amazing. Because, look, we had enough money to get him in as well. But do we accept? We got everything in except accepting this. Imagine if I didn't stall. We could have got him in. Do we count this? I mean, I could click accept and he's in. But that's breaking the rules, isn't it? Oh, uh, we'll reject it. We'll reject it. I was just thinking, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how bad that is, I guess. Like, it's not terrible. Arthur is lower rated, but he should maybe catch up. Because Arthur is a bit younger, you could say. What, like, is he 23? It won't show here. But that's that. So we get N'Golo Conte, Neymar, and Messi. And if I was just going faster, I could have freaking got... Hug button. And I just really, I didn't know who to do. If I really thought about it, I wasn't under time pressure, then I would have been fine. But I mean, looking at this team, I mean, come on. We have a world class front three. You really can't beat our front three. Our cam is really as good as it gets after De Bruyne. Um, our midfield, we have like one of the best, and then we have a very good one. And the back line, we obviously didn't improve. We have a pretty good goalkeeper, top quality left back, one of the best in the game overall. We have very two world class center backs, and we our right back not that great. We will end up putting in um, Quadrado here, so he's gonna go at right back. 
And the bench will change a bit up. Kulsaski, you were in the starting lineup, weren't you? And now you're gone. And then Ramsey can come in for Weston McKinney. Or, you know what? I kind of like Weston McKinney for that youth. So let's keep him in there. That should be the team. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. That front three is enough, I can say that. Maybe what I should have done there. Just, ah, uh, man. See, now that I think about it, we could have easily gotten, like, a better right back. Like, you know, Juan Basaka. Or, like, something like that could grow. Just... If I just wasn't stalling, you know, if I didn't, if I just thought of Pogba immediately, we would have been fine. But, I didn't. I mean, what? I mean, I, I was probably needed 20 more seconds to go. So, if I had the 7 minutes still, would have got him in. Well, I think 6 minutes and 30 is good. I think it's good. I'll start to get used to it. Either way, let's sim all the way to the end of the season. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Simming to, let's just say, June 2nd. And I'll see you guys then. Come on. Let's do better than we have before. So, we are at the end of the season. Let's see what happened. Starting with the Supercopa in Italy, which is basically like the community shield. We end up winning that. 3 nothing at the beginning of the season against Napoli. That's a good start. The Coppa Italia in round 1, we get a bye. In round of 16, we win 3 nothing. Quarterfinals. We beat Atalanta. So we're in the semifinals here, and we destroy Sampdoria. So we're in the final against Lazio to go two for two so far in the Cups. Have we done it? Yes, we have. Two for two, but Serie A and UCL are still there. Those are the big competitions. So looking at Serie A here, you got to expect we're going to be top four, I'd imagine. And yes, we are. So it's us. What? Who's missing? Us. Inter, Roma, and AC Milan. Okay, are we top three? Yes, us, Roma, and Inter. And we're top two. Oh, sorry, Lazio. Okay, never mind. I'm, I literally, Roma's right there. Either way, us versus Inter. Have we got the domestic treble? What? What? Are you kidding me? Second place is bad. Like, you know, well, it's not bad, bad, but it's... It's not like, you know, it's not that great, but like, surprisingly, we only had 84 points. 84 points. That is so little. Now we're in the UCL. We couldn't win Serie A, unfortunately. But can we be the first time, first team, you know, out of Barcelona, PSG, and now Piemonte Calcio, Juventus, to win the UCL in this financial takeover series? In the group, we, haven't, we didn't actually lose. We had three draws, interesting enough. I think we drew to Barcelona twice and Dynamo Kiev. And we got first in the group. Round of 16, where are we? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Round of 16 exit. Round of 16 exit to Manchester United. I mean, I'm a Manchester United fan, but like, in real life, I'd take that any day. But what? Are you kidding me? An Inter one. What? This is a fail. I swear, I swear career mode's rigged. Career mode's rigged. How is Inter all of a sudden a super team? You know, the one time that we're using a team in Italy, Inter becomes a super team. I mean, are you kidding me? This is just terrible. What happened? Are you, I mean, our squad looks fine. There's no injuries. I don't see a single injury. I mean, I wonder if Cellini was maybe a weak spot. But I mean, looking at this, I mean, oh my. How'd they drop by this much? Whew. Are you kidding me? Looking at stats here, Chesney and Conte played 52 games combined. That's a lot. And yeah, they were the leading ones in that. Now, goals-wise, as we go up here, Neymar leads the way with 31 goals. And Ronaldo and Messi are the only other ones to get in double figures. But wait a minute. Messi only played 37 games, and Dybala only played 30. They must have both had injuries. Now, assists-wise... As we go up the charts here, it's Neymar again. Neymar proved to be an excellent signing. Messi, though, not that great. And he didn't play that much, or he must have gotten hurt. Arthur did pretty well. Quadrado, though, actually did pretty well. Ronaldo did okay, but probably could have expected more. <sighs> I swear, career mode's rigged. I swear, it's literally rigged. It is rigged. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Subscribe, like the content, like the video, like that, that is for 
Barcelona, we couldn't do anything. We won one baby cup. PSG, we literally just won the Farmers League. And now with Juventus, we won two cups. Like, seriously, we haven't won anything prestigious with any, like, true com competition, okay? <sighs> well, I don't know why Inter all of a sudden becomes a super team and wins the Serie A and the Champions League, but it is what it is. And, yeah. In that next episode of this financial takeover, it'll be a Friday. Again, this will be happening. It'll be either two or three weeks from now. And I'm thinking to do a team from Bundesliga or Premier League. I have in mind Dortmund, Bayern, Tottenham, City, you know, all those teams. I'm thinking to do that. So drop in the comments what you guys like. But it doesn't have to be one of those teams. It could be anybody. But as I said, subscribe, like, comment, like the video. Like the video that is for. And I'll see you guys on that next video. Career mode is rigged. Buh bye bye.